Hello everybody, my name's Alex Brady and I am the robotics engineer for the bio biomedical engineering department of the Stedman Philippon Research Institute. Today I'm going to give you a quick tour of our lab down here in uh, the biomedical engineering section. Um, I want to show you what kind of equipment we use, what research we do, and um, how we use that to improve our patient care. So if you want to go ahead and follow me into the lab, here we go. The first piece of equipment I want to show you down here is our robot. Um, this is a six degree of freedom robot from the company KUKA. A fun fact, it's actually designed for uh, big assembly lines assembling cars, and uh, we repurposed it down here uh, for orthopedic research. Um, so as you can see here in uh, the study that's going on, we've got a, uh, a knee mounted on the robot. And one part of the knee is mounted in the pedestal, and the other part is in the end effector of the robot. And that allows the robot to manipulate the knee and perform any motion that we would like to give to it. I can't tell you the details of the study that we're performing right now on it because we haven't published it yet. Um, but what I will tell you about is a study that we just completed. Um, and in fact, we're proud to say that that study won the AOSSM Excellence in Research Award. And Dr. Leprad had a new idea for a surgery that would be more anatomical and that would not overconstrain your knee. And so in order to test that, what we did is we uh, brought the surgeon down here and we mounted a knee and tested it first in its intact state. So we know the native kinematics of the knee. And then we simulated the injury and saw what changed. And finally, the surgeon repaired the, the ligament using the new technique. On our last day of testing on the last knee, um, I'm sitting down here testing on the robot and one of our research assistants um, texts me and he's, I'm, he says, I'm up in the OR uh, with Dr. Lafrade. I'm shadowing him, watching him, and uh, he is using the technique that we had just developed on the robot using the data of this study. I think that's one of the most positive things about working here is that you really get to see that the research that you're doing down here gets translated really quickly up into the clinic, up into the operating room. Our other main machine is the Instron, which is this machine here. Um, so it's also um, a robot, but instead of having the six degrees of freedom that we saw earlier on the, on the robotic arm, this robot has only two degrees of freedom. And those are uh, twisting this way and pushing and pulling that way uh, with this device here. Um, so on studies that don't require complex motion in 3D space, uh, We'll usually set those studies up on the Instron because it's simpler and quicker and we can produce uh, more data that way in a shorter amount of time. One of the key components in, in these studies uh, is being able to adapt our fixtures to hold on to and to mount into the robot and into the Instron whatever we happen to be working on. And um, we're lucky here to uh, have a machine shop in-house and mechanical engineers that are able to design these fixtures. Um, as you can see here, all these fixtures, um, we have a lot of variability and they were all designed in-house and produced in our machine shop right here uh, to be able to adapt our, uh, the technical side of things to the ideas that we have for our studies here as fast as possible. So that was a quick overview of what we do down here in the biomedical engineering lab. Uh, we hope it helped you to understand how the research that we do in the labs translates into improving patient care and into keeping people active here at the Stedman Philippon Research Institute.